Hello and welcome back everyone to Anubhav Learning Series. In this series of videos, we are learning how to transform our Fury app to the mobile device and run this application in Android phones. As part of today's video, we will learn how did we achieve Google authentication on G Suite integration with your Fury apps in Android devices. So you can see here, I have a typical login screen of my Fury app. And what I would like to now do is authenticate my users via the Google login. With a greater influence of social media these days, many platform and applications would want their employees as well as their users to authenticate with the social media. So if Google already trust the user, we can also easily trust the same user. So that is why we integrate with Google authentication. Now, similarly, there can be several social media plugins which we can use to integrate with other social media login mechanisms, for example, Twitter, Facebook, Meta, or maybe the LinkedIn. So, in this application, you can see the login screen. We will have the login via the Google. So, how the end user flow goes when it comes to authenticating a user using Google Authenticator? So what we typically do is we give user a login screen in our mobile phone with a button to login via Google. So of course we may have also the user ID password, but there is a Google button. When user clicks this Google button, it will redirect user to the Google's authentication page hosted and built by the Google itself. And here is where user will enter their email ID and then they sign in. Then next screen, there will be a prompt for the password where user will enter their password. If they forgot the password, they can reset. Furthermore, Google can also additionally ask user to provide a OTP. And once user validates everything, the call will come back to our screen. <clears throat> so basically what we receive in the response back from the Google engine is the details of the user in a plain JSON format like the email ID, the username, first name, last name, country, contact number, not very private information, but the generally publicly available information, which is suffice enough for us to authenticate, validate if it's a valid user and proceed with the login. So in this application, I'm going to demonstrate now, how did we achieve the Google authentication plugin or Google authentication in our Android Fury app? So let me take you directly to the demo. This is my Fury application which I built and you can see we have the Google authentication button. I click on the button and this will take me to the Google's login page. Fantastic. So here you can see I've already connected to an account. If I need I can add another account and enter my email IDs. So for example, I will enter a temporary email ID and password. And I will also enter a temporary password. So let me pause my screen so that I can easily comfortably enter my password. <clears throat> and now I will click on next. And you can see it's logging me in. In addition, it is also asking me to enter my mobile number. So just give me a moment. Let me type in the mobile number to authenticate myself on Google. So just give me a moment. I will do this step over here so that I can authenticate myself with Google. So I'm just entering my personal details. So at this moment I have paused the screen and I will click on next button. So you can see now it has sent me a message on my cell phone and I've received the message on my cell phone. So there I can enter the code and I can say next. Fantastic. So if you notice that I am using temporary email ID monday.ui5 at gmail.com as a temporary email ID and you can see it is now authenticating me and logging me into the user. Voila. So you can see now I am inside the application. It has logged me in. And you can see I'm also able to print here the email ID which I've used to authenticate myself. Fantastic. So maybe I will just close the application and also 
kind of is uh, remove the data of the application once again clear the storage and start again with a different email id so i log in again with a different gmail id so it will support that as well so let me go in i use this one and now you can see i am connected with another email id so this is how easy it is we can authenticate using the google authentication mechanism similarly you can integrate facebook linkedin twitter tumblr blogger instagram different types of social media plugins to authenticate in your fury apps i hope you enjoyed this demo session on google authentication with fury apps if you want to learn how did it it's been achieved please feel free to subscribe our hybrid fury application development course I will put the link of that course in the description of this video. Thank you so much once again. Please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified with the latest updates as soon as possible they come on my channel. Thank you. See you in the next video. Goodbye.